Hello, are you ready to build your business marketing with Telegram Marketing Secrets? Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step from understanding what Telegram is all about until you're fully utilizing Telegram to build your business. Telegram is a messaging app which emphasizes speed and security while having simple features similar to WhatsApp, and it's free. Unlike WhatsApp, however, you can access Telegram on multiple devices at the same time. Your messages also sync seamlessly across any phone number, as well as on tablets or computers. Telegram's core features allow you to send messages, photos, videos, and really files of any type, documents, zip files, mp3s, whatever. It also allows you to form groups of up to 5,000 people or form channels for broadcasting to limitless audiences. Also, you can search your phone contacts by searching for their username. This saves you time, scrolling through contacts, names, or numbers. If you're keen on building interactions with your contacts, be it your customers, members, or communities, Telegram groups allow you to have up to 5,000 members. Features such as file sharing, replies, mentions, and hashtags can help maintain order and keep communication in large communities efficient and organized. This feature is available on mobile and desktop versions, and you can interact with your groups and contacts wherever you are. Telegram functions expand on animated GIF search, a state-of-the-art photo editing tool and an open sticker platform to enhance your experience with Telegram. Further, there's no need to be concerned about storage space on your device at all because Telegram has its own cloud support and cache management options. That means that Telegram will barely take up any space on your phone memory. Last but not least, Telegram's best feature, it allows you to have secret chats. It has self-destructing messages, photos, and videos, and any secret chat history that you've created can't be accessed by anyone else, including Telegram. You can even lock your app with an additional passcode using Telegram's two-step verification, which I'll touch on more in Chapter 2. Telegram is a cloud-based messenger with seamless sync, unlike WhatsApp. And due to the fact that it's a cloud-based application, Telegram delivers messages more quickly than WhatsApp. Another point to take note of about WhatsApp is that Although it can be accessible from its web-enabled interface, WhatsApp will only work on Google Chrome, and the phone needs to be both turned on and connected through mobile data or Wi-Fi. Telegram has its own cross-platform client, and can be accessed from your desktop or your tablet no matter which operating system you use. Linux, Windows, iOS, Android, and your mobile device doesn't need to be turned on or have any data connection. When it comes to file sharing, WhatsApp only features audio and video file transfers, and you can't share documents or other files, whereas Telegram offers up to one gigabyte of uninterrupted data transfer between users. Any type of document, PDFs, or other common office or desktop style formats can be shared among other Telegram users. In terms of private or encrypted conversation capabilities, WhatsApp doesn't support this, but Telegram does. Telegram supports advanced end-to-end -end encryption, also known as secret chat messages. When a user invites another party to a secret chat, the messages are removed after a pre-selected period of time. The red messages are not kept on cloud servers or the local cache. Last but not least, WhatsApp lacks on-device support. Instead, they outsource support to your mobile carrier. But Telegram has an on-device support chat where developers can answer any of your questions. In the previous chapter, I introduced you to what Telegram has to offer versus the popular WhatsApp. But to fully utilize and manage your business account, I recommend you use the desktop version. It's a little easier for the initial setup compared to the mobile app version. That said, first, you'll need to download the Telegram app to your mobile phone to sync your contacts before proceeding with the desktop version. To do this, head over to the Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS to download Telegram. Next, confirm your country code and then key in your phone number to complete the sign-up process. Telegram will then send you a five-digit verification code so you can complete the verification process. You'll then be prompted by Telegram to receive notifications. I recommend that you allow this. That'll ensure that you receive notifications or alerts from other users. Then, it's important to sync your contacts to your Telegram mobile app, which, of course, will see sync to your desktop app as well. Select Allow, and you're ready to interact with your contacts through Telegram. Head to this link at desktop.telegram.org 
to access the download page for your desktop. Click on Get Telegram for Windows or your preferred desktop operating system to download the installation file for Telegram Desktop. Once the download is completed, proceed to install the software on your computer. Select the choice of your language and proceed to the next step. Select your desired location to install Telegram. If you'd like to create a Start Menu folder, click Browse to determine where the folder will be located. If you don't intend to create a Start Menu folder, just click Next. In this step, you have the choice of having additional shortcuts placed on your desktop. I recommend you create a desktop shortcut for your convenience. Double check your installation setting and make sure everything is in the right order, then click Install. Now that you've successfully installed Telegram, next we'll learn how to utilize Telegram to grow your business. Click Launch to proceed to Telegram. To utilize Telegram, you're required to register your mobile number. Each country has a different country code, so make sure you've selected your country, keyed in your phone number, and then click OK. Telegram will send a five-digit verification code to your designated phone number. Once you've received your verification code via SMS or phone call, proceed to key in the verification code. Telegram's unique feature allows users to access the Telegram account across all mobile and computer platforms. Privacy and security measures are the topmost priority for Telegram to ensure your account privacy and contacts are secure. This is where the two-step verification work comes into play. What it does is that it allows you to set up a password that you and only you would know how to access, so you can access Telegram whenever you log into your account from a new device. To set this up, click on Settings at the top left bar and scroll down to Privacy and Security Settings. Next, on Figure 16, key in your new password for the two-step verification work and the password hint to correspond with it. Set up your recovery email as well to activate your two-step verification work. To start building your connections on Telegram, the best way to do it is just invite your friends to Telegram. For iOS users, you can send a basic invitation through SMS messages or send them a download link via other messaging services such as email, Facebook, or WhatsApp. Uh, or for Android, you can open the app menu and go to Invite Friends, followed by choosing an application you'd like to send your invitations through. One of the key features in Telegram, where no other messaging apps have, is Secret Chat. It allows you and the recipient to interact without any privacy and security concerns. This is because Secret Chat uses end-to-end -end encryption, where no one else besides you and the recipient can decipher the messages, not even the people at Telegram. Moreover, messages cannot be forwarded from Secret Chats. Compare that to other messaging apps. They allow users to copy and paste any message. Secret Chat also allows you to delete messages on your side of the conversation, and this applies on the recipient's conversation side as well. Last but not least, all messages, photos, videos, and files sent in Secret Chat can be self-terminated in a predetermined amount of time after they've been read or opened by the recipient. Currently, Secret Chat is only available on iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. To start a new message on iOS, tap the icon on the top right corner in Messages. For Android, swipe right to open the menu, then New Secret Chat. For Windows Phone, tap the plus icon in the Chats list, then New Secret Chat. To set the timer to delete messages, simply tap the clock icon and the input field on iOS. Top bar on Android, chat info pages on Windows Phone. From there, you can set the timer to your desired time limit. Then the timer starts to run when the message is shown on the recipient's screen. Once the timer runs out, the message is removed from both sides of the devices. The Telegram group chat feature allows you to chat and interact with up to 200 group members at once by default and can be enhanced into a super group, which increases up to 5,000 group members. To create a group on iOS, scroll to a new message and tap the icon on the top right corner in chats. For Android, tap the circular pencil icon in the chat list, and for Windows Phone, tap the plus button on the bottom bar. Generally, running small group chats can be easily managed by a single person, and everyone in the group can invite new members in. Anyone can change the group's name and photo as well. Once the group becomes a large community, it takes more people to manage such a large group. This is where the administration mode comes into play. By having an administrator, which can consist of one to several core members, it allows easier control and management of a supergroup. 
Features such as adding new people, changing the name and photo of a group, as well as removing members out of the group will be restricted to administrators only. To assign administrators for iOS, go to Group Info and tap the photo in the top right corner on the group's chat screen. Scroll towards the Settings section under Notifications, click on Manage Administrators. Disable All Members Are Administrators and assign a specific administrator from the Members list. For Android, go to Group Info and tap the name in the header. Next in the top right corner, set Administrators and disable All Members Are Admins and appoint administrators from the list. Lastly, for Windows Phone, go to Group Info and tap the name in the header. In the bottom right corner, set administrators and disable all members or admins and appoint people from the list. Channels work as broadcasting tools to broadcast public messages to large audiences. There's no limit to how many audiences you can reach. That means your message can be broadcast to the entire world's population, hypothetically. When you post a message in a channel, the message is signed with the channel's name, not yours. Similar to supergroups, you can assign administrators to support you in managing the channel. Moreover, any new members that join the channel can see the entire message history. To create a channel for iOS, start a new message and tap the icon in the top right corner in Chats. For Android, tap the circular pencil icon in the Chats list, and for Windows Phone, tap the plus button on the bottom bar. If you'd like to set up a private channel, you can adjust it to your preference. Public channels can be searched by any Telegram user through the channel's username and join independently, whereas in private channels, they can only be added by the channel's creator or upon receiving an invitation link. And that's it for setting up your Telegram business account. I'll see you in the next video. Hey there, welcome back. How would you like if your messaging app became your personal secretary that helps with managing public service announcements, updating you with news, or even reminding you of your planned activities? Well, in this video, I'll introduce you to how Telegram can do for you so much more besides sending simple text messages. Bots are Telegram accounts operated by specific programs. They can respond to messages or mentions, can be added into groups, and can be combined into other programs. To name a few, you could use bots to get customized notifications and any relevant or new content as soon as it's published. Or a bot can provide you with alerts, weather, forecasts, translations, formatting, or other services depending on how you want to customize it to suit your preference. This helps you tremendously when you're building your business because you want to focus on what's important, which is, as a business owner, building the business. You can leave administrative and repetitive work to a Telegram bot and it will work for you without any complaints. Besides that, a bot can even be developed into simple arcades and puzzles, and even to 3D shooter and real-time strategy games. Bots could even work to establish social networks by connecting individuals to conversations, channels, and chat groups based on common interests, or by location proximity. The best thing is that Telegram bots don't require any phone number to set up. You can interact with bots by sending messages and commands to bots by opening a chat with the bot or by adding them to groups. You can send inquiries straight from the input field by keying the bots at username and a query. This allows sending details from inline bots directly into any chat, group, or channel. Any messages, commands, and inquiries submitted by the users are directed towards the software running on your servers. Creating your very own bot is easy, and you'll need basic skills in computer programming. That being said, if you don't have the coding skills, with ChatFuel, you can create a bot fully animated without servers, coding knowledge, or any technical skills. To do that, you simply need to open a chat with the bot father, which is accessible at telegram.me forward slash botfather and go through the easy to follow steps to create your bot. First step, press start at the bottom of the chat page to start your bot creation. The bot father will proceed to provide you with a list of commands. Type forward slash new bot to create a new bot or click on blue highlighted words. Next, give your bot a name followed by a username for your bot. Note that username can't be the same as existing bots, so pick your usernames carefully. Once you've named your bot, you'll receive a 
HTTP API token from the botfather. This token is highly important for the next step, which requires support from another bot called ChatFuel. Head over to ChatFuel by clicking the link telegram.me forward slash ChatFuel. And once you've opened a chat box with ChatFuel, click start. Type in forward slash add bot followed by the HTTP API token you just received. From here on, you have the option to customize your bot to suit your needs. There have been various bots that have been created by various programmers around Telegram since its initial release, and there are utilities and tools that Telegram bots are capable of doing already. Here's a list of Telegram bots recommended you install on your Telegram to aid you with your business. One, Telegram languages. What it does is it translates any official Telegram app that supports language files. Number two is Pollbot, allows you to generate a poll which creates engagement and group interactivity. Number three is WeatherBot, get weather forecasts of a selected city. Number four, FileBot, allows you to upload and share files via Telegram by sending a code that is used in the bot itself to request for the file. Five, DirectionsBot, gives directions to go from one place to another. Then Breaking News, gives latest news feed at set times during the day. And last but not least, AlertBot, sets a timer for the bot to remind you of an important detail or plans. Telegram bots help you to automate a lot of the day-to-day -day tasks, and even though these tasks may seem mundane, they're still important. Imagine getting stuck in traffic or bad weather on your way to meet a client or investor when you could avoid it, or being swamped with too much stuff until you forgot about the next meeting. It sometimes happens, doesn't it? Um, but these bots make your life as a business owner better and easier. And even if you hire employees, they can be assigned more important tasks to do. And that's the end of setting up your Telegram bots. The possibilities, of course, as you realize, are endless. Because as a business owner, you want to keep operational costs as low as possible without affecting the performance of the business. I'll see you in the next video. Hi, and welcome back. Messaging apps are convenient, low cost, and effective as marketing and communication tools in advertising, communicating, and offering promotions and services to your audience. One of the prime examples is keeping good relationships with the customers and adding value to them. In this chapter, we'll cover key methods to fully utilize the entirety of Telegram's features to optimize and grow your business. You can upgrade normal groups to a supergroup. Supergroups can hold up to 5,000 members and be assigned up to 50 admins. There are several functions available in a supergroup, such as new members are able to see previous messages, deleted messages will disappear from every member's device, Admins can pin and edit messages and much more. Admins can also remove, block, and report members who don't follow the ground rules of the group. They can also block and report those who spam the group with irrelevant content. Mentions, hashtags, replies, and search are features that are useful for easier navigation and handling large groups of people. You can even mention any members of the group by typing at, and then their alias, and select the recipient's name even if you don't have their username. You can also save time when searching for old messages by typing the keywords in search, and the keywords will be highlighted in the messages. Hashtags can be used to get instant search results just by typing in the pound sign or hashtag before the word, and it becomes clickable. As an easy reference, you may select to reply to any message so that everyone knows which message you're referring to. You can also quickly go through the original message just by tapping on the quote. Channels are just one of the features that would be very beneficial to your business. By setting it up, you're able to disseminate relevant information quicker and easier. This makes channels a great marketing tool because it can be used to introduce special offers, new product launches, or even send newsletters. You also have the choice to make your channel private, and this makes loyal customers feel more privileged by getting firsthand and early information on special pricing and bonuses. Using Telegram bots can reduce expenses on hiring staff and reduce human error. You'll also be able to optimize the salaries paid out to your employees by having them do more important tasks for the business like selling or paying more attention to customers. You have a wide variety of bots to choose from in the attachment menu, either to send images or documents, accept payments, get your location, and much more. Several bots such as at pollbot and at alertbot can be used in your business account to conduct polls and to set reminders for important events. You may even create your own customized bot. 
Remember that for any business owner, your time is precious and how you spend it would determine the success or failure of the business in most cases. Believe it or not, some business owners fall into the trap of working in their business instead of on their business. This makes them focus on the operational side instead of the big picture and direction of the business. So in this case, Telegram actually helps you to focus on the important tasks and leave the rest to bots. That's it for optimizing your business with Telegram. I'll see you in the next video. Hi and welcome back. Telegram is one of the top free messaging apps preferred as a daily chat app. Any form of misdirection or incorrect usage could have severe consequences not just for yourself but to your business and to your customers as well. And this becomes a top concern for business owners. This is why policy, security, privacy and other features are provided so that all of us can get the best experience of the messaging service. The following are 10 types of misconduct that you should avoid at all costs on Telegram. Number one. Heavy discussions that need tough decisions. Apart from connecting people, messaging apps are used to get quick and urgent replies as the messages are sent and received in real time. So when it comes to work-related topics that require quick decisions, the recipients are expected to reply the messages ASAP. However, when it comes to deeper and longer discussions, which can't be decided over a short period of time, it should be discussed via email or a face-to-face -face meeting. All of the important documents should be attached in an email thread so that everyone can keep track of the progress. To use a messaging app as a corporate email would just make things very inefficient. Number two, having a long conversation. There are people who just love to chat casually without any real direction. This makes the other members of the group distracted by the frequent notifications coming in and severely reduces productivity. It'll steal lots of your time and other people's time just to check on unimportant messages. You know that in this digital age, those who are frequently on their smartphones have been conditioned to check their phones every once in a while. To address this, you can put notifications on mute or ignore the messages, but there is always that itchy feeling to check or even the fear of missing out on the conversation. Number three, reading without replying. Messaging apps are used to get immediate replies, so leaving people hanging, especially when you have read the message, is considered rude. So the best way is, if you have your hands full or you're busy at that moment, just reply that you'll get back to them when you can. Remember, better late than never. Do your best to reply to the message accordingly, and be professional and efficient in serving your customers. Number four, moving on to the next topic without finishing the current one. When someone comes up with a topic, let's say topic A, it's advised to not interrupt and start on a new topic. The previous topic needs to have a conclusion, to be closed or have a specific action points before moving to the next one. This is because topic A might be an important matter that needs immediate attention or a quick decision, but can't get the required attention if the discussion goes off course. Number five, having an A to B conversation in the group. As chat groups are shared amongst all members of the group, everyone would appreciate if the topics or conversations spoken about are relevant to the entire group. In this situation, what it means is a conversation that happens between two or three people. If they're talking about something else that's related only to them, it's advised for them to take it to another chat group with only them in it or meet up in person. People will tend to be annoyed if individuals start spamming the group with unrelated messages, and this would encourage people and your customers to exit the group. But surely they won't do that if the group is important. So, for example, they receive important promotions or offers. Number six, revealing PNC information of yours or others. Even though you're in a group where you know all participants, it's advisable not to reveal any private and confidential information online. There's always a risk that your account could be hacked by a third party, or there might be someone who will take this opportunity to sell the information to third parties. Doesn't matter how many times you've updated the app to the latest version with the upgraded security and privacy features, or how well you know the person, it's always important to practice good security. Just be careful. Number seven, unaware of the words spoken. Choice of words is important, and in the case of a messaging app, there is no tone of voice communicated, no sarcasm filter. Unless you send a voice message where the recipient listens to it, messaging apps have no tone of voice. It's worth repeating. 
This can sometimes create misunderstandings when the words read are misinterpreted as something else and taken out of context. Even simple words like hello with a question mark can be taken as the person being angry or displeased. So take note on the tone that you're using so that people won't read your messages wrongly and the purpose you're texting should be understood by everyone as you want to deliver the right message to the right recipients. Number eight, sending or asking for superfluous information. As business owners, we face situations where we will have difficult customers and ever hear the saying, the customer's always right? Well, I don't really subscribe to it because it puts us business owners in a situation where we can be severely taken advantage of by customers, especially in the case of a messaging app where there's almost zero face-to-face -face conversation, it's easy for people to start asking about sensitive and personal issues. This crosses the line and is off topic. Take for example, if customer service becomes too friendly with customers to the point where they start talking about things that are outside of work. While it's good to connect with our customers, there should always be a professional boundary drawn between business and customer. Number nine, ignoring the privacy policy. As Telegram is an open source platform, anyone can study the API, protocol, and source code. From sharing data, storing data, to deleting data, these matters should not be taken for granted, as you should know whether your data stored in history are safe from third parties. Be advised, Telegram never shares your data with anyone. Every data is stored with encryption on the server, and whenever you delete messages, they'll be deleted from history and permanently deleted when your partner agrees to delete the message as well. Telegram always asks your permission before syncing your contacts. There are several precautionary steps that can be taken in avoiding unnecessary information leakage, and these steps are covered earlier in secret chats and the self-destructing messages, a two-step verification, uh, etc. But always be careful. Number 10. Presence of illegal content and infringement of copyright. All chats and group chats are private among their participants. Telegram doesn't process any requests related to them. If you find sticker sets, though, or bots that you think are illegal, please do ping Telegram at abuse at telegram.org. On the other hand, if you see a bot, channel, or sticker set that infringes your copyright, kindly submit complaints to dmca at telegram.org. Please note that only the copyright owner or any agent authorized to take action on the owner's behalf can submit DMCA takedown requests. Telegram will execute necessary legal checks and will take down the content if it is viewed as inappropriate. So what does all this mean? We covered the 10 misconducts as a guide for you as a business owner because communication is important. You may be using Telegram to connect and engage with your customers, or you may even use Telegram to run your business by communicating with your staff. Both ways still deal with communication. To manage this, it's always good to set ground rules and the context of the group chat or channel at the very beginning. This is to ensure that people act and communicate accordingly, and disregarding the rules would result in them being kicked out or banned from a group, and they'll know this clearly from the beginning. This concludes this video on Telegram's rule of thumb. I'll see you in the final video. Hey, and welcome back. Today's technology can be used to maximize your business productivity as messaging apps such as Telegram help to deliver messages faster and to send to a mass audience simultaneously. There are several ways to make money with Telegram, and I'll be covering the most exciting part of this video training, which is how to use Telegram to generate revenue for your business. Business coaching via Telegram is an opportunity, as it gives you the opportunity to engage and connect with your clients. Setting up group chat saves time, as coaching groups of participants makes things effective, as you can reach up to 5,000 people. It also saves money when you can communicate wherever you are without the need to travel. In addition, files of different types can be shared and received up to a maximum size of 1.5 gigabytes each and the cross-platform availability makes Telegram an extremely powerful and flexible communication tool. If you know what your profit per hour or per day is as a business owner, consider that when you're using Telegram. Time saved equals money well spent on other more important matters like strategy meetings or sales calls. Apart from creating groups, there's also a feature called Channel, 
which you have covered earlier that can be used for broadcasting your messages to mass audiences. You can either set the channel private or public or invite people to join the channel by sending them an invitation link. How you want to use it is like this. Let's say you want to launch a new product or a service. So what you do is you email or communicate out the Telegram channel for people to join. In your communication, you can mention that the details will only be revealed on Telegram. And if they join the channel, they'll be able to receive insider-only promotions and exclusives. Create a campaign around it and make it viral and irresistible to take up the offer. That way, what happens is that you'd start building your customer database and creating engagement with your customers. This one compared to traditional advertising on newspaper, radio, or TV is way cheaper and much more flexible. It also makes the quality and targeting of your customers better as it pre-qualifies them. For example, let's say you're doing a launch on a new makeup set. The people joining your channel or group would of course be ladies that are interested in the product and not just some random person. This makes the participants of the group more targeted and the quality of conversations and engagement that happen in the group would also be higher. Also, your cost per customer is lowered when you're using Telegram because it's highly targeted. You can also consider upselling high ticket products to your first time buyers after their initial investment by building a list. You heard that right. That's the whole idea of building a list, right? Internet is where people are actively seeking for solutions to their problems and these buyers are more realistic and less demanding as they're looking on the value of the products. By having the contacts of these people, it's an advantage for you to reach them as long as you're promoting something that you know offers great value to the buyers. Via Telegram, you're able to have quick interactions with these people and persuade them to purchase the products offered, conducting surveys to discover the gap of the market and getting feedback on the products. All these can help to maintain good relationship with the clients besides improving on the sales as well. URL shortening is the unnoticed gem in digital marketing as it gives you many benefits such as making it more manageable, improving the customer experience, encouraging sharing, and increasing brand awareness and generating site traffic. Short URLs also develop tracking and help you measure your effectiveness. How you can earn money via URL shortening is you get paid by each link clicked by the visitors. An intermission ad will be displayed for five seconds and you're paid for having that visitor see the advertisement. With Telegram, you're able to share shortened URLs with trending topics and get paid per click. And you'll earn more when you join groups which contain more members and more earning when they share the links and become your referrals. Paper download networks or PPD networks are platforms that allow you to earn money with your files by locking it with an advertisement or survey before people download it. Every time someone tries to access your file, they need to answer a survey or fill up the form before they can download. Telegram helps get more downloads by generating more traffic when you share links where you find the file is related and suits the interests of the people you shared the links with. So when you have a good record and experience in making money, you'll be able to join more PPD networks as there are sites that are picky in accepting new members.